All right, one more unboxing. We have WWE oh, Blair, Superstar Blair. Showdown, there we which go. is there in yep. which is in shrink wrap. I apologize when the <laughs> shrink wraps off; it won't be as bad. That works. So, Superstar Showdown. I bought this game because I really like Nathan D. Paoletta's Worldwide Wrestling RPG. In that game, part of the game is knowing who is in control of the match, plus having to remember who is where. So who's inside the ring, who's outside the ring. And I saw that this game comes with a wrestling board and miniatures, and I thought, hey, that'd be cool. I can use these for the next time we play Worldwide Wrestling. Now, I've also been told this is actually a really good game from Gale Force 9, that it's actually a, a solid team-based game that would have been fantastic if they only put out expansions, that there's not quite enough in this box. But we'll see. So on the box, it's officially licensed, obviously. Um, two teams, up to six players, ages eight plus. Uh, choose your WWE superstars, set the match, dominate your rivals. Can you dominate the ring? Will your team go down in history as the greatest phenomenon the world has ever known? Combines exciting card play with heart-pounding miniature combat. Interestingly, that on this side, yeah, they both say eight plus. So we're gonna look at what's inside this one. It's a shame you no. didn't actually keep all your original WWE or uh, WWF toys because yes. you would have you would have been able to do that oh, without yeah. buying a whole new game. <laughs> oh, exactly. I had the wrestling ring and everything. So I'm going to try to hold this up. So this shows this game is not new. There's their 2014 calendar for Gale Force 9. Gale Force 9 hit and miss. They make some fantastic stuff and some so-so stuff. Rule book. We'll kind of open it up so we can kind of see the quality. I'm not going to go page by page here. I'll just open up a couple. Looks good. Lots of examples. Not a huge fan of this size, but I get it. It's the same size as the box. Ah, looks interesting. I see lots of wrestling moves. Up next, we've got a big match card, which I'm guessing is literally the card for booking the match because the other side shows different types of matches. We'll open that quick. I don't see why not. I see some rock, paper, scissors stuff going on here. So here we have a few different match cards. There's four different cards. Then we have the board. And here's where I said I see a little rock, paper, scissors going on here. Where you've got grapple, beat, strike, which beats maneuver, and slam beats all of them. Uh, there are actual, like, a grid on this. So you can use it in your Dungeons & Dragons games if you wish. Oh, back up a bit. There we go. We can see the wrestling ring with the red and the blue side. It's all gridded out in one-inch squares. One-sided, nothing on the other side. And then we have a whole bunch of cards. Probably easiest just to hold that up. A whole bunch of cards. That is a lot of stack cards. So we have this pack that says standard rules. So these are stipulation cards. Got to have those if you're doing wrestling. That just makes sense. I'm assuming there's minis underneath these. So we have stipulation rules, a whole bunch of stipulation cards. Not a lot of art on these, but I guess you don't really need a lot of art. You got rings for the bases, standard for most mini games nowadays. Oh, they're rubber. That's kind of cool. I didn't oh. expect that, as nice. opposed to, like, that's a nice touch. I don't think I'm going to open all Yeah, so underneath each of these is probably the character that goes with this deck. Okay. So you got one here. You got one there. The sad part is uh, if they don't say the character's names on them, I'm not going to know <laughs> which one goes with which character. Like, I'm guessing Attitude Adjustment is whoever this is. So, yeah, under each of these decks is a miniature. Heck, why not? Let's take them out. Yeah, I don't know wrestlers nowadays all that well, but they look like nice enough minis. They're very shiny. Uh, 
and we'll open up this deck. I don't know. They're 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 begging for uh, Randy Macho Man impressions on the stream on the uh, stream. Well, I, I, I don't know if that's. I got, I got booed out of a bar for trying to do that. <laughs> it was a wrestling event, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't, Big E, I guess this is. So this is Big E's deck. So yes, okay. they each have their own deck. And there's all pictures of Big E. I have no idea who Big E is. No clue. And I'm assuming these are all well-known Big E. All right, trying to do this on camera is going to be... I'll just do this and take a few off. Is that working? Yeah, yeah. We'll go through Big E's deck. Although this is a significant deck. So I'm going to skip a few. Skip a few. Yeah. So you go, and there's the big E card. He certainly does look like a big gentleman. Yes, he does. Oh, see, on this side, it's nice and clear. You know, it's just the first card that says WWF. So, yes, being able to tell them apart is going to be pretty easy. So it's just that first card that I couldn't tell the back. So you got big E... Unfortunately, I got to open these to be able to see who these characters are. That's kind of annoying. What? You can't look at the miniature and instantly recognize them? Come on. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is. Uh, no, I had no idea who that was. Roman Reigns. I've at least heard of him. Nope. <laughs> heard the name. Yeah, Roman Reigns and Roman Reigns stats. It's actually pretty nice packaging for the way it's divided up. Well, if if I've learned one thing in life, WWE has a lot of money. I have actually worked for them on a, a number of occasions and, and been happy to take some of that money. So then we have John Cena. He was the champ last time I actually watched wrestling. And John Cena making his uh trademark hand pose thing. Then we got no failing at knife skills. Badly. Could have made this a trivia game. I could have held up the move. Who does the RKO? All right. This is Randy Orton. Him I've heard of. Yeah, back in the day, he was Cowboy Randy Orton. He looks uh, a little more uh, extreme <laughs> nowadays. And Randy Orton, many. I wouldn't even know who these guys are heels and who are baby faces. Yeah, I don't even think it... I mean, it changes from day to day now, I think. I don't, it's not... That's true. That is true. All right, next. Big Show. I heard someone I remember from years ago. I'm surprised he's still around. Big show with the choke slam. Yeah, I gotta admit, I would be much more tempted by this game. Like I bought it for reasons, but if it was uh, you know, Hulk Hogan, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Jake the Snake, uh, I don't know, Tito Santana. Guys who are mostly dead now. Um <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I don't know who, who, who Daniel Bryan is. You know, I don't need no Daniel idea. Bryan. Daniel Bryan? Give me Jimmy Superfly Snooker any day over Daniel Bryan. Yeah, he looks very hipster. Like, he looks like he's someone who needs to be a heel just because he should be beaten up. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I'm assuming these are all, like, really famous wrestlers from 2015. Did we figure out this came out? I think Four, that's what's said on the catalog. 2014 was the catalog, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. That's a good one. No, there was some good ones. All right. So we're going to put this on, see how well this goes. Oh, yeah. Easy. That's nice. Like, that's even nicer than Rising Sun. Yeah, that's so nice this touch. rubber base, really yeah. nice touch. No Undertaker. That is surprising. Because Undertaker, like, was at the last WrestleMania. He's still around. Yeah, but when did he... He, he did go through a, a, a period where he wasn't doing stuff. Oh, maybe. Maybe it was this time period. All right. So I, I did compliment the box, but you know what? The things are not deep enough to hold the cards, as we're about to see as they all oh, start sliding. Ooh. Oh. 
So not quite deep enough. Almost props on those. Now I get it. I probably mixed them all up, and I don't know who goes where. So there we have it. WWE Superstar Showdown from Gale Force 9. Heard it's actually a solid game. Actually bought it as an RPG prop. <laughs> oh gosh, this back on here. Everything fit back in nice. Nothing to punch. No counters. 